Hello, how are you? Hello from a rainy day in Paxi, Lao. Welcome back. If you're new here, then welcome aboard. We are in Paxi just for today because we are taking a night bus all the way to Ventian. Big travel day. It is a 12 hour sleeper bus. But yeah, we're off to the capital. So, our day begins. And by begin, Keith means we checked out of our room, so we are now homeless in the lobby. But it's a very nice lobby with lovely fruit shakes. I'm gonna do some work until it's dinner time. And I got a haircut, obviously. It cost me under $4 here. So that's really impressive. The cheapest haircut I've ever gotten, except for free ones. And I look like a real British boy. Blimey, look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so travel tip. We are actually off to the hostel across the street. So we're staying in this really nice hotel because we got a really good price on a private room. Yeah. But there's a beautiful hostel next door and that's where we booked like the bus through, Right there. And they have great food prices it's because it's expensive Because the bus is cheaper to book through the hostel and also we could use our credit card versus the one that was like the boutique that's attached to the hotel. So exactly. that's a travel hack. Use the hostel to your advantage for booking and for food. Before we start a big 12 hour bus ride, I have to say I'm already sort of sticky, even though it's been sort of a cool day here. It's just been rainy. But like, I feel like I would feel after a 12 hour bus. So it's almost getting like the double whammy. So I'm gonna look forward to a shower tomorrow. So the nice lady who's been running the place, I think, and taking care of us and buying our tickets with us and being really thankful for us being here in our business, said we can take a shower upstairs if we want so we're not sticky in the bus. I don't know if she heard me, but it's just the kindest thing. So maybe even better reason to like stay close to a hostel or stay at a hostel. Showers like that, like that's so kind of her. Aww. We didn't stay here. <laughs> By the way, why we didn't stay here was because there's only dorm rooms and Keith and I usually stay in private rooms because of all of our gear and stuff that we have. Fried spring rolls, although I think they might be wheat. They so we've been asking because they melt in my mouth and usually it's chewy if it's rice. So, what are you gonna have them? I ordered it too because I thought she said it was rice based, but I don't think it is. They're not really good with knowing those things. <laughs> That's okay, it happens. Okay, so it was wheat, but they were so sweet and accommodating and they made me fresh rolls. So I have fresh rolls for dinner. But she also gave us towels, so I'm gonna go body shower so we can be nice and clean for our best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your holiday. No? Thank you. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got all of our stuff still. It's like always on the move and especially with an extra bag. I feel like we're always missing something. What's the extra not. bag for? Um, going on the bus, we have What's the warm clothes idea? and my computer. Nice. And I have a bag with food and snacks, the important stuff. Also, yeah, it's always so funny and awkward when you have all these bags and like there's not much space. and. <laughs> That, that drive, by the way, was like literally two minutes. That's what you saw. We could have walked. We could have walked. <laughs> Whatever. It was sweet. It was free with the hostel. Yeah, it's nice. All right, trying to find our bus. It's called 2222. <laughs> now to get rid of our bags. Not to get rid of. <laughs> Shoes are coming off. I always find that funny because like, in an attempt to be clean, you step in dirt. <laughs> there you go. You might have trouble getting out. Okay. <laughs> the bag's there. I just bunked my head. Wow, it's tight in here, I can barely fit. A, three. Wow, we're at the very front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get in really quick to show you that it's this. This is our bed. Got neighbors right there and in behind, but we're at the front of the bus. We're at the very front. And just, where, where do we put our big bags? I'm sure we can bring them down. Underneath, Keith, there's like a slot underneath. That's what our bags aren't gonna fit underneath the, wow. at all. <laughs> I think they will. No, it's like this high. I'm gonna check. Devin's spatial awareness is still. All right, apparently my spatial awareness isn't great. <laughs> so, welcome to the tour. This is our room. We're sharing it with two other people over here that seem very nice. They let us keep our bags and here. And we're bothering them with our conversation. <laughs> it's very quiet here. It's so quiet. But we have a sheet. Who knows if it's been washed or not. Mm -hmm. Two blankets, two pillows. Blankets are like the soft plush kind. But apparently it gets cold. That's why we have clothes. Which is nice. Our waters, there's plugs. Don't know if they work. It's 12 hours after all. And we have night masks. 
in earplugs. Yes, definitely. I don't know if the lights are gonna turn off. There's curtains so we can block out the light. AC vents and these lights don't work. Maybe they do at night. Maybe. Maybe. And there might be a bathroom. And we brought toilet paper, obviously. Always. And that's it. That's our, our bags are here. Area. So we that's have it. about 12 and a half hours until we get to Petian. Cool. I'm gonna walk around the bus and see <laughs> <Yeah>. film. <laughs> I sort of wish a small little feature could have been curtains. Curtains would have been an interesting little small feature that could have made a difference. But it is what it is, it is the adventure. <laughs> Let's go. It's actually a little too cramped to show you around. Oh, that's my shoulder width. <laughs> So let's just get cozy because. But hey, we noticed being at the front actually for Keith, for me it doesn't matter, but we have more leg room with these seats actually. I'm gonna kill that mosquito. There's a few actually. Oh. I've killed one already. So maybe we'll be getting bitten by mosquitoes tonight. So we have bug spray and we're taking malarone. We're, we're taking malaria pills. So malaria pills. We're good. We're good. But it's annoying. <laughs> mosquito killing time. I feel like we're in a tent. <coughs> <coughs> oh, another oh. one? Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, it's going away. Oh, I'm not Success? doing a jump. No, actually, there's like actually a few, and this is not fun because mosquitoes are like the worst killers of all, of all time. <laughs> Always something new on a night bus. This is a lying down night bus, which is cool though. How's the pillow? <laughs> it's not as greasy as my hat. <laughs> it's damp, but it looks, the pillow itself looks used. I don't actually want to look that closely. So yeah, I'm saying that's it's fine. what I was gonna say. It seems I'm, fine. It's fine. I'm six one for for reference. <laughs> and just like that, we're now moving, leaving the town of the city actually of Paxi. It's actually one of the biggest cities in Laos. Mm -hmm. It was it's a kind nice of cool. little stay. It was our first rainy day of our whole trip, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, it was cool being here because we didn't expect mm -hmm. to, to stop here, and it was it was ah, cool. Yeah, to, to see the local Lao life, you know. The tarp is off. <laughs> I gotta change, put on a long sleeve. <laughs> you almost fall? Yeah, I'm good. Maybe a bit, I should lie back This is gonna be a bumpy ride. Online, the reviews say it's a very bumpy ride, so we'll see how this goes. But it's not, it's not gonna be as bumpy. Oh, I got that. Let's go. Look at this. As, uh, it's not gonna be as bumpy as the one we took from Campa to Schnookville. That's true. That was our Because that was not a road. Ever. That was literally not a road. <laughs> Quick note. If you're traveling solo, just be aware that if you book a seat, you could be sleeping this close to a stranger. So is there something because to keep in mind? Because this is a double bed. This is not a single bed. No. So I could be some rando, <laughs> and then this could be some rando. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The lights, are, lights out. are out. It is. What time is it? What time is it? 8.25. 8.25. Early night tonight. Lights are out. Snacks, I've killed as many mosquitoes as I could. <laughs> I got the blanket on, so it doesn't. Uh, I put on my sweater. Don't bite us. I feel comfy right now. I'm gonna watch some TV and then probably eat some food and then hopefully sleep. That's right. Let's try and have a good night's sleep so tomorrow we're not exhausted. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, hello. It's been like ten minutes. It's time for dinner. I don't remember if we actually filmed the food, so I'm sorry about that. We did get some extra food for the trip, specifically for me. One of our biggest tips is to have food with you when you're traveling, and obviously water and some toilet paper, but this is huge. So, so dinner slash snack time. Oh my God. On the bumpy road. It's like really bumpy. Sorry for my filming, I'm trying my best.
27. We're about half an hour away now. So we're almost at the end of our journey. We've slept for a good chunk of it, which yeah. is pretty sweet. I'm surprised. That's awesome. Um, I actually don't feel exhausted. I don't feel exhausted, but you know, I slept for probably a collective of four hours or something like that. Like, you know, you know sort of awake a lot of the time. But it was good. It's really rocky and bumpy, but it kind of feels like the it was way fine. like one of those baby swings and it puts you to sleep. Yeah, is it like some points definitely like I almost felt like I mean, the bus was fully on the shoulder of the road trying to avoid a truck or something like that hitting bumps and you're like oh my gosh and you can feel the lean <laughs> is that oh, i was I, gonna say i thought this was a lot better than i was expecting it to be oh yeah it was it was i feel like it's true it maybe not like as good as sleeping in a bed but i slept great yeah obviously not as good as sleeping in a bed but no it worked i think it was fine better than an airplane floor or a sitting up bus it's yeah like, oh, it was good. It was good. oh yeah for sure I'm gonna go see if I can go find a bathroom. Let's see if there's a toilet here. Well, this is it. I can only stand up this much, which is all right. It's, I'm happy I took off my socks. Well, there's like a little mat on the floor so your feet don't get too wet, but there's definitely like a good amount of water because of this bucket to help it flush. Um, but yeah, there's a bathroom here after all, which is good. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that we managed to keep our bags with us. Me too. So we were lucky to sit in the front of the bus. Yeah, because yeah. just they were with us the whole time. And usually it stretches us out. There's laptops in our bag and stuff. And I mean, it would have been fine at the bottom. But also, it's pretty chill. No one's attacking us for a, for a ride into town. Yeah, but we do need to find a ride into town because we're we kind of on find, the outside. We find a ride. We found a price on Google, so we'll just ask about. It. Take care and safe travels. I can grab two of these. Alright. Good? Yeah, I think so. We're good. Cool. And now, the many hours of waiting before a room. We are staying or so at a hostel, we think. Though. That's also a cafe, so hopefully that means there's coffee. Yeah, it's probably around two then to check in, right? Go ahead. So we balled out when we got here. Our hostel is also a little cafe, and we haven't had real cappuccinos since Sian Reap, which we shared one because we're cheapos, but because of the night bus, we decided we're gonna fall out and get our own, so. It's the cost of the meal. Yeah, it is. But well, we'll have instant coffee for the rest of the time while we're here, because that's free, once we check in, which we're not checked in yet, because we have to wait. It's really nice, Keith. Is it? Yeah, oh, it's so good. Yeah, this accommodation is pretty nice after a long night bus, which was actually successful. I rated a seven and a half out of ten. The I whole agree. Experience. Like best night bus I think we've been on, to be honest. I mean, you know, it's still a night bus. There's mosquitoes and it's bumpy, but it was comfortable and we slept. And there was a bathroom and it was quiet and dark. Yeah, it was dark. quiet, which was nice. And like I lying down helps when it's really bumpy too. I you don't really feel it that much. I mean, you wiggle side to side, but. I also think we did have a good experience because we were at the very front. So yeah. the hostel lady, she was so sweet. She to knew her you. stuff. Because I think it would have been different if we were somewhere else on the bus, to be perfectly right. honest. Cheers to a successful cool. travel day. Yeah. Wow. That's a potent coffee. It's a real coffee. They grow coffee beans 
and now uh, this one's the fun lab coffee day. And I got myself some breakfast, I haven't been hungry yet. Look at this. <sighs> Success. Good we travel day. We made it honestly long but very smooth travel day and we are now in central Lao and continuing our way up north. Yeah, I guess the, like, the longest part of the travel day is the like waiting for the bus in Africa because and the bus is fine. And then waiting to check in. But no, the bus was actually great. So Super Success. excited to explore this area. Me too. So well, see you in our next watching. video. Thanks see for watching. See you soon. smoothies here out of this world they also don't call them smoothies they call them shakes because it's usually just fruit and ice but it's literally pureed fruit i think i have a whole mango and a whole pineapple in here <laughs> okay there's a reason why durian is banned in taxis hostels and buses because someone snuck it on i don't know if it's officially banned here but it smells strong of durian <laughs> what is doesn't it are you just putting your pants on yeah i am that's why I can wear my spandex so I can put my pants on over top. This is an adventure already. Already. Durian mosquito infested bus. Evan, mind your manners, there's neighbors. I'm wearing shorts. 